this is the most serious thing that I've ever said to the public in my entire life. I'm Ric Flair, and I play the game by my rules. If you are the best at what you do. All right, all right. So we had the California Dreaming, the Ralph Lauren air quotes runway show. You know, Ralph Lauren's, uh, air, again, air quotes runway shows are more than that. They're, they're always in, in a performance and extravaganza. Um, but let's talk about let's talk about some of the uh, looks we saw here. So <clears throat> this was obviously uh, what I would say are probably double RL looks. And for the most part, you can see the theme here, the uh, the headwear. The headwear is a theme here. Uh, cowboy style, uh, cowboy style safari hats, uh, cowboy hats. You know, for the for the men and the women, that's part of the theme. A lot, a lot of uh, Serape, Santa Fe looks, uh, Aztec looks, and your overall modern, what I would call modern cowboy, modern cowboy looks. And I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it at all. Um, they're vibes. They're definitely vibes. Uh, it, as far as my collection, my my uh, wardrobe, my catalog, it's nothing. This, this is nothing that I would ever OD on. However, uh, there really were no bad looks in in this particular uh, section of the of the event. And not having ever been to California but just being a student of style fashion and obviously Ralph Lauren I would say that this fits it fits a, if it's a narrative if it's a demographic and you know if if you are if you are inclined to visit California then some some of these items would definitely um would definitely be something you would want to look into man or woman now you know Again, when you're talking, uh, when you're talking runway, when you're talking showcases, even in Ralph Lauren, some things are going to be OD, right? But you can take pieces, you can take parts of the ensembles and make them your own. So, again, I feel like uh, I feel like a lot of these looks were really great. Uh, that look, boom, my guy right there, Mr. Desmond. He killed it once again. Now, the only thing I'm not a fan of is the neckwear. I probably would have would have went with a if I'm going to do neckwear for that look, I would have went with a bow tie or neck tie or ascot. I'm not a fan of that scarf tie that way. But overall, it, it, it's a great look. That's a great look. And he, he he just always kills it, man. He's so sophisticated. The dreadlocks, the gray, embracing the gray, you know, that and and, you know, just from a couple of brief conversations we've had online man he's just a good dude anyway but i really i'm really just am proud and happy for him because he's he's been killing he's been killing the ralph lauren aesthetic since the uh 50th in in central park among other brands like he's he you know he's big in the ralph lauren in the ralph lauren world especially but not limited to purple label and uh double rl but other uh other ones as well so other brands as well he's been really he's been really big with uh there was a, a denim ensemble there I, I you know i went on a little tangent there about mr desmond but there was a um a denim ensemble uh by a guy is that it right there yeah i kind of like that too that's a really good look um but yeah this double rl this double rl uh lineup was was really nice now you know we all know uh, the price point for double RL and it's it's warranted from a standpoint of its durability. And, you know, if you're going to throw your wife's name or shall I, shall I say initial into a, a genre of your brand, then, you, you know, you can't you can't sell it for the price you sell chaps like, you know, a woman is a woman. She ain't, she's not going to agree to that. So double RL has to kind of be pricey. Just we just have to grin and bear it. But double RL, double RL is a great brand anyway. So, you know, it is what it is. But yeah, the uh, 
The aesthetic of the dub RL was dope. The music as well was dope. Now, I'm not using any of the music because I don't, you know, I don't know any of the trademarks or copyrights behind it. But, man, the music was really dope. The first song during the event was the only one that I was a little iffy on. But the rest of them, whew, man, it was some great, great music. Now, we're getting into some looks here that were inspired by that famous picture of Ralph when they started promoting this thing only about a week ago. And that's these, uh, these earth tones, these earth tones and these California looks with earth tones, man, listen, I'm, I'm going to say that this was my favorite part of the event. And it started with that lady that just walked off with the shorts, the shorts with that, that, uh, that tan sweater, that tan turtleneck was great. And it just got greater and greater from there. As you see right here, this guy here, big, big guy when it comes to purple label uh, print ads and whatnot. He's killing that look. And the great thing about these looks, because a lot of this stuff is purple label. But the great thing about these looks is, man, you know, maybe you only have one piece. That's a purple label. And this is what me and Theo was talking about today. Maybe you only have one piece that's purple label, but you can put these you can put other pieces together. You know, you may have a pair of shorts, this blue label like this gentleman here. You may have a pair of shorts, this blue label. You might have the purple label top and then, you you know, you find you a nice camel hair sports coat to go over top of it. And boom, you got the look without having to spend all the money for purple label. This guy killed it, killed it. Next time I hear white party, I'm going for this look right here. This is just, whoo. Oh my goodness. Those shoes, the wing tips, brown, white, all white suit, double breasted. Look like it's lightweight. So it's either a lightweight cotton or it may even be linen. You never know with purple label, but he's killing it. And I'm going to be honest, the way he walking, he knows he's killing it. That's a great look though. I can't even, I can't even front. It's one of the best looks of the night. Uh, that's a nice look. Um, I hate this dude's hair, but other than that, <laughs> but other than that, man, this look is pretty, that look is pretty cool. Now she, this lady here, I really like that look. I like the fabric. I like the fabric of this look. It definitely screams year round 70 degree weather, which is what California would be. It definitely screams, uh, I'm not too far from the ocean. So that was, that was a great look. This is a nice dress. I don't even feel like, I feel like this dress is dope, but you don't have to, you don't have to only wear that dress to some type of formal function. I think you could get away with that dress at a fancy brunch. Ladies, get in the comment section. Let me know if I'm right or wrong. Uh, the Fair Isle. I don't even have to speak on it. Y'all already know how I feel. That's a great look with that pleated, pleated pants. Now, of course, those pants will go straight to my tailor. So we can get away, uh, get some of that classic fit out of there and make it a little slimmer and keep those pleats. You know, people want to say pleats age you. I, don't, I disagree. I think it's all about the man and how you carry. It, all right. That's a great look she's wearing as well. I love that color. Uh, it's like a I would call it a summer olive. I don't know what Ralph has uh, named it, but that's a great that's a great, great color that she had on there. These are some really these are some really dope ensembles here. That's dope. That dress is dope. I, again, that's that same color. And that's that's just a beautiful color. That's a beautiful year round color, depending on the piece. But this is definitely this definitely gives me warm weather state vibes. That definitely gives me uh, palm tree vibes. All right. Uh, what else is going on here? That's a pretty decent look there. I like the fact that most most of the ladies we're carrying smaller purses. I think that's a great look. Uh, again, I think that fits the whole California dreaming vibe. I just don't think that a lot of your places in California are big tote bag types of uh, cities or whatever. I think the smaller bag is more appropriate for the looks, right? I also love that blue, uh, that blue sports coat. Now, the red, white, and black great that's a great look listen that that look on that woman there was dope i loved it she that model was killing that look now I'm, let me say something about these models too and i'm just gonna say it it's just my opinion you don't have to agree or disagree but the sooner that uh people in creative start realizing and recognizing that the overwhelming majority of women are not this small or and or are not this tall 
I think that uh, a lot of the product would sell at a, uh, a higher clip. Now, you know, if you go online, Ralph Lauren woman or Lauren woman is the equivalent of plus size for women. Right. And there are some beautiful women on the on the uh, on on the website modeling the plus size apparel. You got to start putting these women in the shows. You got to. Now, if you don't want to put them, you know, if you don't want to put the big and tall men in the shows, I get it. You know, it, but the thing is, is that. Last time I checked, uh, women made up about 14 or it's either 14 or 15 percent of the profits. And that's throughout. That's uh, that's e-commerce. That's full retail stores. That's uh, outlets. 14 percent. And kids make up roughly around the same percentage. All right. So the overwhelming majority is men. And then believe it or not, home and fragrance. So you don't necessarily have to have two or three or ten or one for that matter, as far as a big and tall model in your events. But you might want to consider using uh, some of the women or plus size models, whatever you want to call them, you might want to consider using some of those. There are a lot of plus size models that are freaking supermodels at this point. They are freaking supermodels right now. Iskra, uh, oh, what's that lady's name? I can't remember. She's Hispanic. She's huge. And I'm not talking about literally, I'm talking about figuratively as a supermodel. She is doing her thing. Iskra, again, like I said, she does her thing. There's a lot of them. Uh, use these women because I think you could draw in uh, more uh, female clientele. And I think that's something that, that the brand needs to really take into account because I think they're missing out on a lot of money. Uh, women to this day still have qualms and air quotes complaints about the cut of certain items. And it's just because there's not enough there's not enough attention paid to those details, in my opinion. All right. Now, back to the show. That dress walking off. That's a great dress. I loved it. There were some pants that were like that uh, dress. And I wasn't a fan of the pants. But that skirt. Yeah, that skirt was that skirt was hitting. Look at this look right here. Killing it. He's killing it again. That's uh, that's one of those big time purple label models. I think that look is amazing right there. I think if a woman pops out with something like that and she's got the curve like this for this woman to be tall and slim, she she actually has more curves than you normally see on a woman that tall and slim. But she killed that look. She absolutely killed it. Uh, as far as, you know, cocktail dresses, evening dresses that were in this show, I had no complaints on any of them. Now, is that my my lane per se? No, but I like what I like and my eyes don't lie to me. You know, I trust my eyes. And there wasn't a single uh, dress, whether formal, semi-formal. There wasn't a single dress that I didn't like, an evening dress. So uh, kudos, kudos to the brand for that. They nailed that as they, um, you know, typically always do. Now, the price point, that's I have nothing to do with that. So, you know, if, if it's too pricey for your everyday woman, I get it. But, you know, those same everyday women will pay maybe eight thousand or ten thousand or more for a bag so you know I, you know i don't i'm i'm neither here or near there when it comes to the price point i just know what my eyes like all right uh what was next i want to say what was next might have been uh, some blue label looks featuring kids and there was actually a couple of looks that came out of that that were on kids that i was like okay gonna have to use that as a look definitely um had that discussion today as well as far as uh some of those kid looks were definitely going to be stolen for uh for the adults because they were just put together perfectly shout out john legend i don't know if that's your wife or not i don't care what's his wife's name christy Teagan or something i don't know if that was her or not i wouldn't know her if she walked up to me and slapped me in the back of the head but i know john legend well shout out to him for being there and there is miss ricky 
and there's Dylan, and next to her was Andrew, and uh, David was on the front lines as well. All right, there we go. Y'all already know, my guy there with the afro holding his future wife's hand. First of all, that's adorable. But that look that both of them have on, yeah, I'm with it. I actually personally, let's take the little adorable little princess out of the mix for a second. Between the two of the guys, I like his look a lot better. Not to say that this seersucker uh, style suit with those particular shoes and that beautiful pop of color and that green over that gentleman's shoulder is not dope. But it 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 for me, it didn't scream California. First of all, yes, a seersucker suit. Uh, I know my boy Classicist uh, has a couple of seersucker suits and he lives, I think, in San Diego somewhere. So, yes, obviously, you know, seersucker is something that you could wear uh, in a California dreaming event. But it to me, the seersucker is always going to scream more southern than it is western. But that look that that little kid had on, man, was great. Uh, this is a decent, that was a decent look. This look on this kid was a lot better. And I like the, uh, both of the looks that his air quotes parents had on too. Uh, that's a decent look. Not too bad. Um, again, I would like to see, I would like to see a look like that on someone else. I'm just going to leave it at that. Um, yeah, let's, let's, let's go. Let's keep it moving. Take the sweater off of the gentleman's waist, and that's a great look. With the mattress, I think the sweater is a bit much. All right, I just felt like the sweater was a bit much for that look. Um, again, take the sweater off the waist. I like the look that the blonde-haired gentleman has on. I don't like much of anything about the other look. I don't like much of anything about that look. Now, also, too, what is happening here... Um, as we continue to move forward is we're blending in some of these children's looks and some of these adult spring uh, looks, dad looks, etc. We're starting to blend those in with some of the polo blue label looks that uh, I, I have to keep it a buck with y'all because that's what we do here. I'm getting frustrated with the targeting of the 14 to 21 and 22 ish demographic. All right. And what I mean is, is that there have been a lot of overly bright pieces that have started to come out through blue label. Uh, and you can tell that it's, it's, it's j the same way you could tell off, uh, off the, off the top that denim and supply was being targeted to a pr uh, particular demographic, which I thought that, uh, could have worked. I think the store, the standalone brick and mortar stores for denim and supply was a bit much, but I think that that product could have worked had it been given more time and not as much money as had been invested to it, into it, i.e. the brick and mortar locations. Um, but the targeting of 14 to not, uh, 21 ish in the polo blue label with all these, uh, bright colored pieces, putting putting them together the way they are presented i'm not a fan of it i'm not a fan of it and i'm wondering like this to me that 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 uh the, the grown-up there that ensemble is hideous i'm sorry i don't like it there's there's nothing about that i like but um i'm just wondering yeah, he killing that he is killing that look but i'm just wondering if 14 to 19 20 21 i hate that that's too much pattern mixing i'm sorry i'm getting distracted but i'm seeing things here that was too much pattern mixing on that outfit for that woman. But I'm wondering if 14 to 21 year olds are being uh, vetted and filling out questionnaires, et cetera, et cetera, for what they like. Uh, I have a 23, 22, 21 and 18 year old. They were once 14 through. You, you, you see where I'm going with this, right? They have friends who are once 14 to 21. It's some of this stuff is not it's not necessary the one thing that we all love about Ralph Lauren the brand and the lifestyle is that it's not for followers we're not followers here we do what we do right and we got that from the man the myth the legend himself 
So to have to try to look at that jacket, that is freaking horrendous. That is horrendous. That is horrendous. For them to try to make all these efforts to reach out to this particular demographic and give them what they think is what those uh, pre uh, teenagers and young adults are looking for. It's not. It's not. So, you know, I know that there are internships that come through Ralph Lauren all the time. You know, they have an internship program that's really great. I know a few people that have graduated through that internship and are working for the company to this day and are doing great things. Maybe start using those people and getting ideas from those people because I'm telling you, this stuff is not it. It's not. It's not it. Uh, Ralph Lauren, that name means something. So, you know, if a 14, 15, 16 year old sees a bear sweater and he wants it, he's going to get it. You don't have to throw five different colors of ombre on a bear sweater and put the same ensemble on Alonzo for a 15, 16 year old to want it. That's 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 not what this is. OK, so I'm going to need them to get a grip on that. Man, a lot of this stuff for me, me personally, for my eyes is just not the move. OK, uh, that's a decent outfit. I don't like I like the skirt. I don't mind the shirt. But when you put the white T-shirt, long sleeve T-shirt, it just it just ruined it. It just ruined it. Uh, that's a decent look. That's a decent look. Let's take the let's take the toboggan off. Let's take the, the scully off. But that's a de decent look. I would have went with that actual royal blue pocketbook that she has. That's the pocketbook you should have went with with that look. All of these women need to take the toboggan off. I don't like nothing about that look. I, I don't like nothing about it. I don't get it. It doesn't make sense to me. I don't think. And again, I've never been to California, but I don't think that this overall aesthetic is the vibe. But here we go again with some amazing skirts. These colors on these skirts that are coming out now. Okay, so here's one problem I see. And to my white brothers and sisters, y'all know orange is not very flattering to you all, right? It's not. So I'm not sure why they put that orange dress on her. She had a great tan, but it's still just kind of, I think the, tan, the more tan that a white person has, the less they need to wear orange. It just washes you out. So I, I probably would not have done that. But the dress itself, I even like the dress with the hat. It's very whimsical. But but her, on that chocolate skin right there, oh my goodness. For me, that shut it down. That look, this one here as well, shut it down. I even like the headgear. I even like the headgear with that dress. It's different. It's whimsical. But that magenta... Man, listen, I'm trying to tell you that orange right there on, on that beautiful black chocolate black skin that woman got right there. That's I mean, that's night and day. That look and and the, and the other one, that's night and day. I'm sorry. Like orange is just not a great color on her. Uh, but the dress was fabulous. The dress was fabulous. The skirt was fabulous. They, you know, those three in particular, very, very nice, very nice pieces. That just whew. That's a vibe. Could you see her on the beach? On walking, walking, walking on the beach right off of Pacific Coast Highway. Oh man, listen. That's a print ad, buddy. That it is a print ad. The only thing I probably would have did was maybe put some type of uh earth toned stone necklace on her. I thought that would have been great laying over top of that orange dress. But it's it's kind of crazy because for me and my eyes, her skin actually played a part in that dress looking how it looks her skin popped with that orange as much as that orange popped on her skin that's a great that's a great freaking look it really is um and again that magenta on this caramel skin of this lady here with that cap yeah yeah so overall i was as usual impressed with the uh vibe of the show I thought Ralph came out looking amazing. 83 trips around the sun for the Brody. Happy birthday, 10-14, 2022. The man's 83. Look at him. He looks pretty good, man. He looks pretty good. Like I said, man, uh, I think the guy, I think the guy's just staying around for as long as he wants to. 
because he's loving what he's doing, man. Think about that. Think about that. I want to do, I want you to let that sink in when you go to punch that clock. All right. That man is doing what he wants to do, what he always wanted to do. And look at him. 83 years old and he's still cool as the other side of the pillow. So just think about that, man. But this was a great show. I love the whole vibe. If you didn't get to watch it, hopefully, you know, you got the highlights from me. And we'll see you soon behind the scenes. Hit that like, hit that subscribe.